Mic test, mic test, one, two, mic test. Solid, solid. <sighs> okay, okay. Mm. Make sure I look good. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, I'm feeling good. Check me out, check me out. It's been a long time, but we're back with another one. It's going to be a lot said today. I think I'm going to get really blunt. I'm feeling kind of savage, like I'm going to go in for the kill. Real hard, like it's a brutal hunt. Mm. But don't sleep on me, okay? Because I'm bringing that live action. Like it's a movie stunt. Stop playing with me. What's up guys, HFM family, welcome back to another video. Good to see y'all again, it's been a little bit. Your boy needs a little break, a little time of rest. Um, a little longer than I intended to be and that I wanted to be, but it was needed. Feeling good, um, and I'm just back on it, back on the grind. Non-stop, so let's roll with it. Now that I've done that little intro there, I'd like to introduce you guys to a part three of confidence building tips and I started this video of this series earlier this year um, before the pandemic began and I just wanted to get right back into it and just kind of bring it back try to be very versatile with the content and the things I bring to the channel and that's something I take pride in so without further ado y'all see the title y'all see the thumbnail y'all know what it is fellas let's talk about it we're gonna get into it I'm gonna get on y'all a little bit today but it's all love we're gonna help y'all out all right Let's get into this video. All right guys, so the topic today, the main point that we're gonna be focusing on for this video today is gonna be how to converse with a woman, okay? And this can be with, you know, in person, approaching her and starting a conversation. This can be, you know, through your mobile device, you sliding in the DMs, it can be just whatever. So we just wanna talk about conversing in general. And I'm gonna give you three basic tips and a little, you know, things to look at and to critique yourself on. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about in terms of how to converse is, of course, the first step is gonna be is making your approach, all right? Here's some key things to keep in mind with making your approach. All right, so the first thing I would say is you want to boldly make your presence known, all right? When you approach a woman and you make that first move and you physically just walk up to her or whether you stop her and y'all walking like so or you see her in the distance and you walk up to her and approach her, you want to boldly make your presence known. This is going to be a physical thing, but an inward uh, reflection of the confidence that you have that kind of bleeds into physically what's going on because if, on the inside, if you're confident, and you feeling good about yourself and you're like, you know what, she's gonna see me today. That's gonna come out through your body language and when you approach her, you're gonna walk with your chest, with your chest out and, and your head held high, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be, um, excuse me. No, we don't do that, we doms, you feel me? Can't do that. You're gonna see me today. But yeah, um, so you just wanna boldly make your presence known. You wanna have the body language of a confident man, of a genuine man, you don't wanna come off too strong, but you just wanna make it known like, hey, you know, I see you and I know you see me. How you doing? Let me interrupt your day for a moment. Let me tell you why I'm all the way over here. Talk to her, talk your stuff. The next thing I wanna say is keep it brief, all right? With your conversation, if you are, you know, conversing with her, kind of getting acquainted slightly, just enough to know if you want to get the number or if you want to continue on or whatever the case may be, or if it's a dub, then you just want to make that make sure the conversation is brief, whether it goes good or bad. If it goes bad, you automatically will know. But if it goes good, then you want to make sure that you kind of cut it and you control the conversation. And you kind of don't allow it to go for so long. You want to keep her curious, keep her intrigued, and have her like, wow, like I enjoy this conversation. I wanted to continue. 
you want her to continue to want more you want her to uh, you know what i mean and so you can't do that if y'all talk for an hour it can happen but if you cut it and make it like maybe 15 minutes 10 minutes smooth good and some women can't have 10 15 minute questions uh conversations so if that takes place that's a good thing but make sure you keep it brief all right and the last thing i want to say for this is don't ask for anything under no circumstances you don't ask whatever your intentions are make it known whatever you desire to have or to get have the conversation or in terms of moving forward uh, with your life if you want to get her number and you know see about going to get a a latte with her you know or something like that make it known but you don't ask her for anything you want a number you make it known i want your number and you just basically tell her what's up and what's going to take place how do you do this well let me give you an example so you're conversating face to face y'all you know, chopping up and you're concluding it yeah i really enjoyed this conversation and um i can see your your mindset and how we have some similarities and it was definitely enjoyable talking to you i don't have many conversations like this but i do have to run i do have to go but um I do want this conversation to continue, you know, even though I have the time for it right now, I can make time for it later. Um, but I'll grab your number and um, we can just continue and maybe go get some lunch one day, get some dinner. I know you like to eat. I like to eat. I need to eat. I'm a skinny man, you know, so uh, we can go from there. How's that sound? And the only question you're asking is, how does that sound? You don't ask her, how do you feel about that? Or is that OK with you? Simp. That's simp mode. Insert black pill, okay? We doms over here, we don't ask for nothing. You want the number, you go get it, simple. A woman wants a man to take charge, she wants him to be bold, assertive, and that's how you do that without being too overpowering, too dominant, but not too passive to where she like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want her looking like that, so you want to see the, the, the confidence and the boldness and how you take initiative, but then you don't want her to be freaked out. Oh my God, too much testosterone. The next thing I want to talk about is controlling the conversation, all right? I hope y'all have y'all notes because y'all this next thing I'm about to say, I need to write it down, all right? Controlling the conversation is what we're talking about next. It's a very important thing that you guys need to know, all right? Fellas, listen to me. I hope y'all got your ears because y'all need to hear this. Write this down. The person that asks the questions always controls the conversation. What do I mean by that? When you go, you know, take when you get taken into the to the police department for questioning, whether you did something or if you're a witness to something, um, the cops they want to control the conversation because there's certain things they want to know and they need to find out and they don't want to waste time, your time or theirs, especially theirs. Um, you know how they are. Um, it's no shade. It's just I don't blame them. I wouldn't want my time wasted either. But they asking millions of questions. Where were you? What were you doing? How do you know this happened? Um, why do you think it took place? This and that. Million questions. But they're controlling the conversation. Why? Because they're questioning you. They're surveying you. They are interviewing you. Because they need information that you may have. They're controlling the conversation. Same way with the women. You, you know, you want to know certain things. You stopped her. You approached her. There's certain things you want to know. Certain things you don't really care about. You can, co you can control the conversation. Why? Because you ask the questions. You take the topic to the next thing. So, yeah. Remember that. So the first key thing you want to do with controlling the conversation in terms of asking questions, if you're trying to get on her good side, you want to genuinely ask her about herself, okay? Don't ask her about herself if you don't care. If you don't care, you shouldn't have been, if you don't care, you shouldn't have even approached her in the first place. Let me say that. And I'm going to smack you for even approaching her if you don't even care how her day went or about her in terms of her life or what's going on, whatever she has to say. Why are you approaching women? You, you, you're cold hearted. So... What you want to do is just ask her about herself. Ask her a few questions. How was your day? You can start off small. Then you can ask her, okay, I see you have a business mindset. You know, have you, uh, or are you majoring in business? You know what I mean? What is your major? If you don't mind me asking, talk about school. Talk about college. You know what I mean? Who doesn't want to talk about academics? At some point, like, people are still grinding hard in the, in the pandemic, going to school, taking their classes, or still getting their education. Come on now. All right, the second thing you want to make sure you do is feed off of her energy, all right? Whatever she's saying, however she's saying that the tone she has, you want to match that. If she's cool, calm, chill, collective, you kind of meet that, you know? She's like, yeah, it was a good day. I enjoyed it, you know what I mean? I'm just glad to be here. Be like, yeah, I feel that. 
I definitely feel that way as well. But if she's like, listen, I had a good workout. It was real good again, intense, you know, but I'm real sore right now, but I feel good, you know, I was hitting those squats. You're gonna be like, yeah, okay, look, gangs, look, who, who thick you are? Okay, look, go ahead, hit them squats. One, two, three, four. Yeah, who did that? You did. I'm being joyful, but you get the point. And the third thing I wanna say is let your body language match your intentions, all right? If you having that, you know, hype mode, hype man type of verbal energy, you want your body to match that, you wanna be looking like in the body and then verbally you're saying, dang, that's a, okay, look, I see you. I feel you on that, I, 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 I feel you. All right, and the last thing I wanna say and touch on is your conclusion, all right? Like I said before, the person that asks the questions controls the conversation. You have the power to conclude the conversation and the whole, just the talking in general, right? You can control when and how that ends. And you gotta do that smoothly. Like that's, that's first and last impression is what really matters in the middle. You know what I mean? It may be rough starting off, but then in the middle you can clean it up. At the end, you gotta finish strong too, because if you end it off weird, she gonna remember you that way. If you finish off smooth, she gonna be like, she gonna be talking to her girls to you too now. She's gonna be telling her home, home girls like. This dude stopped me and he was like, girl, I don't know, my knees is weak. But if you were cringy and, and you know what I mean? <sighs> Bro, I don't know what to tell you. If you didn't execute in the conclusion, I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> All right, so in your conclusion, one thing you wanna make sure you do is be firm yet genuine. You want to firmly let her know, I enjoyed this, I wanted to continue, I don't want this to just be the only conversation we have, I want it to be another one, and another one, and another one, you feel me? You don't wanna walk up to her and have a great convo and then just be like, that's, that's it, like that's it, no. I had this conversation with you because I wanted to see how it would go. I saw a beautiful woman and I felt like you, um, you know, from what I observed, had a beautiful personality. And But I just can't let this be the last conversation we have. I wanted to continue. I'm going to get your number and we can keep this going. How's that sound? Boom. Simple, easy. Concluding it. And you just be on your way, she be on her way, you respecting the time, you're not holding it for hours and hours. And you can slide or finish sliding later on. Second thing you wanna do is make sure you make your intentions known, all right? You conclude your intentions and kind of make it an extension of what you said beforehand. You may have stopped or she might ask, why you stop me? And at first you're gonna be like, I mean, honestly, so far, I mean, I saw a beautiful woman that Caught my eye, and um, I mean, it's a lot of beautiful women that I let walk past me, but I just couldn't let that happen in this particular time. But I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and not be nervous and in a simp, and I just want to come talk to you, you know, see how your day is going, see how many smiles I can get out of you. All right, and the last and most important thing is go in for your kill and seal it. What do I mean by this? You going in for your kill is basically in the conclusion your ending sentence or your 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 finisher line it doesn't have to be super big and oh, nice and polished no you know what i mean you just has to be something simple just some of simplicity and just straightforward blunt straight to it clear and just basically exposing your intentions you know what i'm not gonna lie like i approach you 50 percent of the reason probably why i approach you is because I, I thought you were very attractive so that motivated me to you know, just have the courage to approach you. But I also did want to converse with you. I was curious to see what you were like as a person, as a woman, and you just blown me away. And I just enjoyed the conversation. And then boom, at that point is your finisher or your, you know, ending statement. And the last thing I want to touch on and now I want you to do and make sure you execute is going for the kill and seal it go in for the kill and seal it what you do by going in the kill you basically you going in the kill is making that concluding statement or sentence that you walk away from you say that you get her number uh or you know if you 
I would hope you're getting her number because you made the effort to get all the way over there and talk to her. So what you need to do is, is go in for that kill and seal it. So what you want to do is you basically just kind of make a concluding, you want to set your concluding tone and kind of let her know like, okay, this is coming to an end. I'm enjoying this, but I'm a man that values his time and I got to go. But in her mind, she's thinking, oh my God, it's ending. Like what's going to happen? And you just kind of want to end it with what you want to seal it with. And that's why I say going for the kill and seal it because you're going in for the kill is kind of concluding with, you know, kind of wrapping it up, having that tone of, okay, this is coming to me, this is over. You know what I mean? I enjoyed it, but you know, I gotta go. And then you seal it by getting that number and getting what you need to continue the conversation. And so this, was not for no reason so it doesn't go in vain your efforts cannot go in vain guys especially if you did a smooth job nice and polished look it cannot go in vain all right guys so at this time what i'm gonna do is give you an example of going in for the kill and then what you want to do when you seal it wow uh i don't know what to say like i'm blown away i don't, I don't have many words right now it's, I, I'm a man that's just really a sucker for good combos, and I feel like that's definitely what took place today. But um, I know the time, yeah, the time kind of flew by there a little bit, but I'm not gonna hold you up long. I, I respect your time, and I definitely gotta respect mine as well. But uh, this does not have to end here. I would like for it to continue because of how well it went. And you're definitely a beautiful woman that knows how to hold a conversation. And those are two combinations you're going to find a lot of times in this day and time. So with that being said, I'd definitely like to grab your number. We can go, you know, one day when you're free, grab some lunch or something. Um, I know some good spots, you know, this city being what it is. There's just many options for us. So. And then that's basically you going in for the kill, like just firmly saying, like, I enjoyed this. This was nice. And in subliminal way, you're saying I don't want this to end. And even though you pretty much, you pretty much obviously say like, I don't really want this to come to an end. I don't want this to come to an end. And subliminally, you're saying like, like I'm about to get your number, or you subliminally you're saying like, this is not gonna be it. You know what I mean? Because you can kind of, she's gonna probably start to ask herself questions like, so like, is he about to get my number? She's gonna start to get nervous. Heart gonna start speeding. You know what I mean? You wanted, you wanted to flutter a little bit. You know, make her, make her, make her buckle a little bit. You know, put that work on her. But anyway, when it comes to sealing, you wanna make sure that's short and sweet and simple, straight to it. And that's gonna be a shorter version of the conclusion, but it's gonna be basically what you walk away from. This sealing it is very crucial because this is what she's gonna remember you by. It's gonna be one of, the, one of the last things you say other than bye or see you later or talk to you soon or whatever, you know? And your seal it is gonna be, as an example, something like this. So yeah, with that being said, um, I'll definitely grab your number and um, I'll let you be on your way. What else does she have to say to that? It doesn't give room to question necessarily. She has a question, she can ask her question, but you're not saying it in like it's a questionnaire. You're not leaving the wrong punctuation on it. It's not an exclamation mark. It's not a question mark. It's not a dash, a hyphen, it's a period. Because what you say goes, period. And when you insert black pill and you go in dom mode, you go ahead and for that kill, you seal it, you get the number and you let her know this is gonna continue. And you know what I mean? And I feel like we both feel this way and, and that's what it's gonna be. You're gonna give me a number and I'm gonna call you. We can set something up, we can go get some food. But that's what you, that's basically what you letting her know. That's not what you're gonna tell her, but that's basically what she's getting from what you're saying. And you go for that that kill like that and you sell it effectively and you smooth, quick, and short with it, and you don't over talk it. Man, I'm telling you. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. That is a wrap. I hope you guys found it very useful. Um, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, like I said, but hope you guys were able to find some some good information in what I've presented today and what I've given you guys. Y'all take these tips seriously because I'm telling you this is stuff that if you apply it, it's, it's useful. I can, I, can, I can almost guarantee you results unless you're just ugly like that. Um, I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, yeah, y'all just apply these things. Y'all give it a try. You know, I'm not saying going around just 
you know, randomly talking to women just to see if this stuff works. But I promise you, if you incorporate this in the things that you do in your techniques, it will help you to effectively talk to women and genuinely just have a good conversation and to boldly and confidently, respectfully approach them, talk to them, conversate with them, and to conclude what ever, whatever occurred, you know, and, and to really get your craft much more developed than what it is when it comes to conversing with a woman, approaching a woman, keeping the combo alive. So that being said, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you give this video a big like. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you thought about the video. If there's anything you feel like I missed or I should have talked about, please let me know because there's more videos of these coming. Like I said, this is the third video of this series, which I began this year. And there's going to be a lot more coming because I know people need to hear this kind of stuff and I have a lot to say about it. But that being said, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. And remember, learn from me yesterday. Make the best of your today and prepare for your tomorrow. Till the next video, boys signing out. Stay woke.